video okay first question is someone ask like okay you have a 10 years of experience career gap okay when he have a gap and when someone ask like what you did okay so let's say i have i am 2010 passed out and i got a job in 2020 if someone ask like what you did on this two these 10 years of gap so that time when you got that question from hr and a manager uh, how to answer it okay so there is no uh, particular answer you can i can suggest directly here it's all like they want to know what you did okay why that gap came so uh, try to give some relevant answer saying like maybe if it is two years three years recent years maybe you can say corona or family issues or some health issues and all okay if it is my if it is 10 years to 10 years more than 10 years then you need to give like okay uh, i was not there in it because i was trying for a government job or i was doing my family job family business and all after corona it, it's gone and uh, i i thought of check it job and i came to it so this kind of practical uh, meaning sensed answers you can give so that it will be compromised and here the main thing is do not only cons in the manager round is something like you already passed the technical round when you already passed the technical round when you are going through manager round it is more like they already have an impression that you already good okay they liked you as a technical person so manager and hr round interviews is something like more they want to know you personally not technically what is your character what is your attitude okay how you are how good you are okay they are paying you 15 lakhs 20 lakhs or 10 lakhs okay so are they paying per good candidate the candidate who can do good job for them obedient job for them so those are the things they will keep it in mind it doesn't mean like they don't be doing anything with your 10 years of gap answer so what they expect is during 10 years when you are jobless what you did for your life okay so if you give the respective answer in a way like i tried for group one group two then it gives you some good indication that you are very valued you have a strong uh, uh, career orientation thinking okay so you failed there okay or else you did some business you did some challenges okay you took you started a simple company small company it's a it company or some other company okay you did this one you did that one but it failed okay then uh, maybe financial issues because of financial issues you came back to uh, a stable settled job okay secured job if you join as an it job if you get a company you get security okay maybe because of your financial issues you, you you are again coming back so keep your answers this way so that it will highlight you don't no need to scare here okay so this person is like i'm so fearful when to answer it no need to fear just mold your answer in a way that it gives you boost to your character and attitude they want to know let's say what is the meaning of this question is the other way is okay you are jobless for 10 years what you did i didn't do anything i'm at home okay i'm at home i'm not getting anything i didn't do any job so if i give like this then it gives you wrong indication okay when you are jobless you don't do anything that's what it will give you but if you say like okay i i was trying i will keep on trying i will keep on trying i did this i did that i did business i spent this much i did this much i learned this much so there are so many things you can mold here you started a small company okay and it company was 50 years capacity but somehow due to due to corona it failed something something you can tell so small scale companies so they will see you a leadership qualities they will see you like okay you did this you did that you know this you know that that kind of thing it will be exposed to you okay so mold your answers so that it gives you it gives some okay positiveness about your attitude and your character okay so this is what i can say for this answer